Since the real world problems are quite complex, in order to simplify everything, in mechanics we do what we call a mathematical modeling. We know that speed is rate of change of distance. Well, in mathematical modeling we call it speed in one direction and we name it velocity. That means speed in the real world can be in any direction. It is not in uh, 2D but in 3D. In mathematical modeling, we consider this to be in one dimension. So it can move back and forth so that in one direction it would be positive and the other direction it would be negative. Then we have distance and we call distance in one direction displacement. Now in terms of particles, we have a special situation where it doesn't matter what type of animal or humans or rocks or any other object we call that a particle which basically means force is acting at a single point that means although a person might have hands and legs when we consider a person to be a particle we just think of it as a single point where force is acting if we have a branch of a tree or some desk or some bench basically we consider it to be a rod it is not like a baseball bat where it is thick at one end and uh, thin at another end or like a cricket bat but it is uh, evenly distributed next comes the concept of uniform rod but before talking about uniform rod we have to talk about the concept of center of mass center of mass represents the single point where the weight acts on an object now comes the concept of uniform rod. Uniform rod are those where the center of mass or the single point where weight acts on that object is at the middle of the rod. For mathematical modeling, we have to make certain assumptions. One of the main assumptions is we always ignore air resistance. So some basic assumptions are Humans, animals, vehicles like trucks, cars are assumed to be a particle where force acts at a single point. Tree branches, desks or any object similar to that are known as rods where the mass is evenly distributed throughout its length. Uniform rods are where the center of mass that is the single point where the weight of an object acts is at the middle of that rod. When we have a chain or some rope or any form of connector we assume that it is a light in extensible string light means the mass of that string is negligible we ignore it inelastic means inextensible that means if we stretch it it is not going to be elastic it is going to be inelastic one of the assumption is this when we connect two particles with light inextensible strings they are going to have the same kinematics so whenever the question comes what assumption have you made that the string is light inextensible string you say it will have the same acceleration one of the main concept of mathematical modeling is the concept of equilibrium equilibrium or limiting equilibrium means that forces are acting on an object in such a such a way that the forces are balanced so the forces are balanced that means the object is in equilibrium now if an object is in equilibrium what we assume is that all the horizontal forces are equal to the other horizontal forces and all the vertical forces are also equal to the vertical forces now there is a concept called limiting equilibrium limiting equilibrium refers to an object that is in equilibrium but it is about to move that means it experiences friction or what we called maximum friction let me repeat limiting equilibrium is in equilibrium but still it experiences friction or what we called maximum friction the concept of maximum friction really depends on the surface or the type of rough surface it is in if an object is experiencing limiting equilibrium it is experiencing maximum friction so this is how maximum friction works if you have an object over here and you're applying 
a force like this then it has a friction so it is going to oppose that force but if you increase that force the friction that opposes the motion is also going to be increased unless you give the force in such a way that the maximum friction has been overcome only then the object will move so if the object is about to move it means it is about to overcome maximum friction that is the main idea maximum friction is given by a symbol called mu r mu refers to the coefficient of friction which really depends on the material of the rough plane surface and r represents the reaction force reaction force is the force that the surface gives to the object when force is applied to an object the object is opposed by friction as the force is increased so is the friction so that they are always balanced until a certain friction is reached which is known as maximum friction and that needs to be overcome if the object needs to move